Hey, Wizards, how's it going? You guys are releasing a choreo and paper? Everybody's isolating. That doesn't make any sense. It's been on Arena for like two months. What's the point? Doing it for money? I guess that does make sense. You guys are wizards after all. But how am I supposed to get a booster box? All the LGSs are closed. Check your phone? What? Oh! Huh. Wizards Direct. <laughs> well, uh... I guess we'll open this up on the channel, I guess. Since I got it. Welcome back, guys. Hope you enjoyed that little intro sequence there, me talking to wizards. Today, a little something special. Maybe opening up some Ikoria. I hope you guys don't mind, the camera might be a little bit shaky. This is actually kind of like my first time recording, like, well, second time, I guess, recording like this. The first time I wasn't a little hands-on enough with the table. So I kind of didn't test it for shakiness, which of course it's going to be pretty shaky, but I'll, I'll, I'll try to try to work with that. Try to try to alleviate that a bit. Do the good old Rudy side cut there. A nice knife. So crazy times we live in, eh? Can't believe you can still buy sealed magic products. <laughs> Actually, it was just at my LGS today. I had to or order this thing over the phone, which was kind of nice. You know, I didn't ha I haven't spoken to my LGS owner in a while. This is pretty cool. Box topper. We'll open this at the end. Pretty excited for that. Let's keep that in frame. Remind us of it. But yeah, I uh, I haven't opened any of this because, well. Today's the first day that it come out, right? I'm pretty excited about it just because of the whole comic book art, the whole companion thing, you know, mutate. Not very excited for mutate, but you know, it's something, right? There, there are some cool abilities, like things that I would play in Commander just to get a one-off effect of, like that. Uh, I think it's the Abzan one that brings back creatures. There's a uh, Ah, uh, the Genesis Wave one. I forget what it's called. Let's open some cracks, eh? Oh, cracks, eh? Thieving Otter. Yarn in this set actually does look good, in my opinion. Red Scorpion. Fire Prophecy is really good. Whoa, dude. Look at that thing. That thing coming up to you and just barking at you. Yeah, mutate is an interesting thing. The flash mechanic coming back in this set. Oh, gem reader. That's that's definitely one I wanted because like I, I feel like this could replace like uh, Rex Sage and stuff in most commander decks, and I don't think people would really care because like you could like slot this on like your land war elves, for example, kill someone's soul ring on turn two. And then you also have a 4-4 Reach Trample. Pretty good. We get a Foil Grim Dancer. Foils in this set are actually decent. Minimal, minimal Bend. I like that. Uh, I guess I better do that thing where people sort stuff, right? And the commons. Commons. Uncommons. Token. The gem rings are there. We'll keep all the comic book arts up here with the mythics. But yeah, let me let me know how you guys are doing during this uh, crisis time. I've been biding my time with Fallout 76 now that they've kind of brought the game back a bit. Look at that. I love it whenever magic brings a monkey into this game. And the almighty brushwag. You know what I couldn't believe? I, go I googled this the other day. Because I heard it somewhere on the internet. The original Brushwag is reserve list. <laughs> I, I couldn't believe it. Like sure, it's an it's an okay blocker. But reserve list? Mm. It's 
That was pretty good. Whenever one or more creatures you control would trample, deal combat damage to a player, create an XX green dinosaur beast creature token with trample. Where X is the amount of damage those creatures dealt to that player. Imagine just playing like Tribal Commander. I mean, Tribal Trample Commander deck. That could be really interesting with that Quartz Crasher. Oh, my set here is going to be such a mess by the time I'm done with all this. All these packs. Let's see, Clash of Titans. Okay. Ooh, Emergent Ultimatum. A lot of people aren't really liking this one because, you know, it gives your opponent an option. But I don't know, I kind of like it. Whenever blue and green and black ever makes uh, card advantage, it's usually a good thing. Huh. How do you guys like the return of the life gain lands? Oh man, this is difficult pack to open. Oh yeah, and how do you like this new art on Frostlings? Look at that thing. Another brush wig, mysterious egg. It's like the seventh egg in magic. The Ozolith, ooh, 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 nice, nice. One of our creature control leaves the battlefield if it had counters on it. Put those counters on the Ozolith. We can have comment on your turn. If the Ozolith has counters on it, you may move all the counters from the Ozolith onto target creature. I could see that being played in, you know, counter decks, maybe like uh, the Abzin, no, Hardened Scales, Affinity decks. Is Affinity still a thing? Ever since they banned Mox Opal, I, I think Arcbound Ravagers actually come down. It might not be a thing anymore. I think Mox Opal is kind of the glue of that deck. By the way, I'm more of a commander player, so I don't know much about the modern metagame. Mythos of Brokos. Turn up the two target permanent cards from your graveyard to your hand. Ooh, that is interesting. Because usually when, uh... Usually when you have an effect like that, it usually exiles that card. Maybe because it's a sorcery, it doesn't exile itself. Let's go Swamp. I actually really like the art on this Swamp. But I do prefer to play the full arts. Because I'm a cool guy who likes pretty things. Uh, let, me, let me get that out of here. <laughs> Thieving Otter. It sucks that Loot Tree got banned. I've always wanted to play Tribal Otters in uh, Commander. We'll leave the same game. Yorion, Sky Nomad. First companion so far. Not a big fan of this one because I'm a Commander player. As I've stated like 15 times in this video already. Yorion, of course you can't be your companion in Commander. I'm pretty sure with companion rules, you can still play him as a part of your 99. Makes him not bad. You know, he flickers things, right? I don't think I have to read everything. Because the set's already been out for so long. Extinction event? Wonder if that's ever going to see play? Probably not, because it only hits half of everything. But I guess you get to choose, right? Maybe your opponent's playing like Ruda or Obosh. That's probably what that card is here for. But who knows? It might have some other place. I have done draft on Arena for this set twice now, and I failed both times. Hey! A Luna Apex of Wishes. Flying Trample, whenever this card mutates. Exile cards from the top of your library until you exile a non-land permanent card. Put that card onto the battlefield or into your hand. That is not bad. I can see that being a one-off effect in a commander game and actually do something. Because it just goes 
until you hit a non-land. Permanent. So it's kind of like the Maelstrom Wanderer. You only do it once though, but it's a bit cheaper. And it doesn't have to be CMC 7 or less, which is nice. So like you could like worldly tutor your Ulamog to the top of your deck. Not bad. Reprinted Fertilid. Nice. What do you guys think of this set? You guys like Mutate? Hey, we got an ape. Good old Kogla. Oh wait, no, he doesn't go up there. He, this guy's just a rare. It's not good enough. I'm surprised that this is the only comic book art that we've gotten so far. Pacifism. Classic, classic. Hey! Porky Parrot. Interesting. Mythos of Vad Vadrock. Deal sweat damage. Creatures are planeswalkers. Okay, yeah. So it's a, another red removal spell. I probably won't see much play. Because it's not efficient. Who knows, I might see some play. Like we got Tefri's running around right now. Hey, Garuda! This guy might actually play some EDH decks lately. Just because, you know, ETB reanimate something is usually pretty good. Especially when you can combo with like flickering abilities and all that fun stuff. Sucks though because my current commander deck that I'm playing is very much not even convert mana cost. Most of the stuff is CMC 3 and 5. There's the odd thing. But I guess you're going like mostly for your opponent's stuff. Then, so it's not really that great. Mythos of snap decks. Choosing. Oh, it's just like a balance. Right? I don't know. Oh, Foil Dirge Bet. That's not bad. This guy's definitely seen some standard play. Look at that guy. The foils in this set are actually kind of dark. Which is odd. Uh, we'll put him up here with the Mythics. That's a good pull. That's a good pull. Ooh. The Forbidden Friendship. A human and a dinosaur. The Loud Piercer, with a comic book art. Ominous Seas. Hey, we got the uh, the comic book art Dirge Bat. So there we go. Maybe I'll start playing standard now that I have half a place set of Dirge Bats. I think that's what Wizards' goal is for all the people who play Modern Commander out there. They just print a bunch of cool standard stuff. Just try to get them to play standard. Majestic Oricorn. Jesus. It's just an it's just a unicorn. It's just a really metal looking unicorn. Colossification. The big kitty. Yeah, I kinda of gloss over this polywog symbiote. This card is seeing a lot of play right now on arena in use tape decks. I'm not sure if blue is the right color for mutate. Pretty sure you just want to go black green basically. And go with the Genesis wave effects. Off of that one thing that we haven't seen yet. Ooh, Riel. Another mythic. Plus one plus oh for each instant sorcery card in your graveyard. Whenever you discard one or more cards for the first time each turn, draw that many cards. I can see that being playable. Maybe you slot him into a Mekuzar or something. Or maybe you could just make like a wheel deck out of her. She is already blue and red. Those are the wheel colors. And you would draw the cards after, after the wheel goes off. So you would just draw double the cards that you discard. It's not bad.
Wait. Commons. Uncommons. Kinnon Bonder Prodigy. This card, I feel like it's gonna be nuts at some point. Like, it probably is already nuts in, like, older formats. But I feel like if they, in the near future, print one mana Mana Dorks again, this card will just go bonkers. And it's probably already just insane in Commander, considering how many low mana Mana Rocks there are, you know? When you're two mana Mana Rocks, start tapping for two mana, that's when stuff gets nuts. Soul Ring taps for three. Jesus. Mythos of Vadrock again. Not the double we wanted, but the double we got. Well, at least we got a double dirge bat, so I'm not too I'm not too angry about this, okay? I would like the comic book art uh gem razor though. That card in the comic book art looks amazing. The Sea, Polywog, Cub Warden. Gonna make some cats. But, you know, we have huge, huge horns for a cat. Yes, that is what we wanted. Horned cats. Tentative Plains with good old Luca and Cat. I don't know what Luca's pet's name is. I, I never got that. And honestly, I don't really think I care. Hey, Whirlwind of Thoughts. That is definitely going to be a very playable card. In Modern, in Commander, it might see Plane Legacy. Because it just, it draws you a card whenever something happens, right? Put that in the rear pile. Remember you cast a non-creature spell? Which, Legacy's kind of known for that, right? They're non-creatures. Unpredictable Cyclone for the cycle mechanic in this set. On top of Mutate, on top of all these cool mechanics, we also got Cycle. Which was basically the main reason why I didn't do good at draft. It's because people kept playing the Cycle deck, which is mostly comprised of commons. Surprisingly enough. Frondland Felidar. Felidar. 4 minutes, 3 5 Vigilance. Other creatures control Vigilance have one tap, tap target creature. Not bad. You know, you go to combat, you attack, pay some mana, tap down your opponent's creatures, get in some for blockable damage, and then you. Oh, but you don't have the blockers afterwards. Because then they don't untap, right? Ooh, Vulpakit, 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 nice. Oh, uh, wait, Commons, Mythos of Brokos again, and all the Mythoses, that is weird. Why am I getting so many of these Mythoses? I, I want the blue one, I want one copy of the blue one, I don't need two copies of the green one. Zoom it. Archipelagor. Nice. Archipelagor. Hey, Inspired Ultimatum. Not bad, not bad. I do like the ultimatums in this set. I love the eerie one. Honestly, they might actually be more powerful than the old Alara ones. Some of them definitely are. Although inspired, not that great. Not that great, honestly. Seven mana, like, seven mana is not bad for drawing five cards, dealing five damage and gaining five life. But I think for that mana, it really should be at instant speed. Right? Maybe counter a spell on top of that. We got Titan's Nest, which is a card everybody freaked out about because it just gave X spells delve. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that card. The fact that it only applies to X spells is kind of limiting. Maybe if it had worked for, I don't know, other stuff too. Maybe like just colorless things. Yeah, 
We got an Umori, the Collector. There's a battlefield, choose creature type. Spells to cast of the chosen type cost one less to cast. This would be better if it was in maybe blue green colors. I just don't see black having really good uh really good archetypes for this. Because you know, zombies already has a bunch of stuff, not like this per se, but stuff that's just better in my eyes. And elves, elves already have all the ramp ever. So why does it need cost reduction? I, I guess there's probably some fringe, uh, fringe archetypes out there that might want that. I guess it's good for like weird combo decks, right? With like, uh, what's that construct? It's two mana. When it dies, you return an artifact. I don't remember. I can't remember. Lord Dracus. I don't know. I've never seen this. When our creature mutates, return to your instant sorcery card from your graveyard to your hand. Is that good? Maybe you like bounce it to your hand after you mutate with it, get the spell back that you bounce it with. Lava Brink. Venture. Choose odd or even, has protection from each career that costs of the chosen value. Ooh. Ooh, that, 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 that sounds good. And it's a 3 mana 3 3, so it's not even like powered down for that ability. Yeah, I like that. It's kind of like a more fixed Hectos. You know, it's not a 6 1 that's protection from everything, but 1 to run that cost. <sighs> Hectos won't open. Is that a good sign or a bad sign? Did we get something good from the last pack that didn't want to open? I can't remember. Let's see here. Hey, Ragrin Dryum. Nice, nice. I love the- Oh! Foil General Kudro the Drenith. Well, I wasn't planning on making any human decks, but uh... It's not every day that you get a foil mythic. Are human errors the battlefield under your control? XL target card from an opponent's graveyard. Wait, Black? Yeah. Yeah, this, this looks good. <laughs> I was not expecting a foil mythic from this box. God, the first magic product I opened in months and I got foil mythic out of it. Well, I guess the, the box topper is kind of like a guaranteed mythic, right? It's gotta be some good. Another Yorion. Wow, this is like the duplicate box, dude. Two Yorions, two... Two doubles of two mythoses. Jeez, Cavern Whisper, Volpe Keeps, double, double alternate art miss. Savai Trium, that cool comic book art. Wow, we got three comic book arts in one pack. That's actually kind of impressive. I'm kind of happy with that. I hope I get the Sultai Trium. That's the one I need for my commander deck. I want to run at least one of it because it is fetchable. So you know. You can get three colors for one. It enters tapped. But you get three colors. So if you don't need the mana right away, you can kind of invest for later. In a land that's just slightly better than a shock land in that scenario. Yes, Mythos of a Luna. This is the one I wanted because you can copy your lands. I like copying things you're not supposed to copy. <laughs> and you know, it's it's basically just like a, a sorcery version of a, what's it called? Clever Impersonator, right? It's just good. It's good. Oh, we got some stuff here. We got a Pouncing Shore Shark. We got a Necropanther. We got Kruga. And then we got the Companion Token. Well, we're on our last few packs here. Let's see if we can end off this box with something amazing. Ooh, Dream Harvester. Hey, an Eerie Ultimatum. This is definitely a card I did want. 
I wanted this. Because it's, you know, just a seven mana spell that almost says you win the game. Almost says it. Usually it's the cards in the graveyard that you bring back that say that. But that definitely helps. <laughs> Falling Wilds? Nice. They should do a comic book art for Evolving Wilds. Because that would be a cool thing to have for later on. Crystalline Giant. Hot garbage in paper because you do not want to count all the counters on it as time goes on. It'd be a troll for your opponent to like put like a pacifism on it. Because then every turn you still have to put that counter on it. You don't even get to attack or block with it. Thanks, white. Well, picky. Is that like my third or fourth one? Wait, that's a common? Gigantha the Wellspring. Huh. No card in your starting deck has more than one of the same mana symbol and its mana cost. This mana can't be spent to pay generic mana cost. Generic mana cost. I wonder if that's I wonder if that counts for, like, abilities of creatures, right? Okay. Oh, jeez, this is gonna be like a 20, like a 30 minute video. Jesus. All for one box of Ikoria. That Rudy from Alpha Investments can blast her two boxes in half this time. Parcel Beast. Comic Book Cards. We got a Boon of the Wish Giver, Karuga, and a Foil Porky Parrot. <laughs> yep, because that's what everybody wants, is a foil... Look at that thing, it looks hinched, dude. This thing looks like it goes to the gym and it just sort of eats all the protein powder, and then it lifts one weight and it becomes a huge monstery thing. Hey guys, this is our last pack. And then we'll open up the box topper. Hopefully, what's in this is a good time. Something good, something good. The Six of Duel. <laughs> All because I said I wanted to play Otters and Commander. That's why my last rare is a loot tree. I'm sorry you got banned, Lutri. I'm so sorry that they did that to you. Okay, guys. It's a moment we've all been waiting for. The box topper. Kind of excited to see what this is. I, I really wanted some of the, uh... Some of the Godzilla cards as soon as I saw them. I thought that they looked so amazing. Oh, come on. Hey, Gigan! Garuda Doom of the Depths Foil Godzilla card. That is definitely going to be a valuable card at some point. I feel like that's just going to keep going up in value. As long as it doesn't get banned in formats. Because this card so far is a bit of a beast in standard. I don't know if it's gotten banned yet. But I feel like it is going to get banned. Well, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Th this was a pretty successful box opening. I, I got a lot of cards I really wanted. Let's see here. One, two, three, four Mythics. One Foil. That Not a bad box. Got some of the Triumphs. The piles are falling over. Okay, guys, so in the hopes to not make this video more than 30 minutes, which it most definitely will, We'll see you next time. Bye for now.